Hi, my name is Tess Lord and I'm a summer naturalist here at the Dorothy Pico Nature Center. Today for Naturally Crafty, I will be showing you guys how to make a potato porcupine. So today the materials that we will be using for our craft are a potato, um, some spaghetti, toothpicks, rubber bands, googly eyes, or you can also use felt for the facial features, scissors, and glue, or I'm going to be using glue dots. For the first step, um, we're going to take eight toothpicks and we are going to split them in half. You can break them in half, or I've found that I like to cut them so it has a cleaner edge. All right, so once those are cut, now you're going to bundle four together and you're going to get the edge flat, or the flat edges all together and you will take a small rubber band and just wrap it around the bundle. And you'll continue this until you have four bundles. Now we're going to take our potato and our toothpick bundles and we're going to create legs. So we're going to use the sharp end to stick into the potato. So we have one leg and it can be kind of tricky to make sure that it's balanced but um, it's not a problem to take them out and put them back in if needed. Now we're gonna add some facial features to our potato. Um, so I am gonna use googly eyes and I'm also gonna use some glue dots. So I want this to be the front of my porcupine cause it's kind of more pointed than the other side. For this next step, I'm going to um, use felt to make a nose for my porcupine. And you can do whatever shape you like. I'm just gonna do um, just kind of like a little oval for his nose. And once you cut it, you can kind of clean it up a little bit, make it look more like the shape that you had hoped for. And again, we're gonna use some glue dots to put the nose on. And there we have a face. For this next step, we're gonna poke holes in our potato porcupine using a toothpick. And because it's a porcupine and their uh, quills kind of face at an angle, I'm going to insert my toothpick at an angle, but you can also do it straight up and down if you'd rather. Next, we're going to create the quills of our porcupine. And to do that, we're going to break small pieces of our pasta, um, about one inch. And I'm just gonna break lots of little pieces. And then from there, we will go ahead and insert our pasta into the pre-poked holes.
And there we have our potato porcupine. Here we have our finished potato porcupine. Um, I went ahead and added a couple more down along the side and um, I added a few longer ones just to make it look a little bit more like a porcupine. Porcupines are rodents and there are more than two dozen species, all of which have sharp needle-like quills. Porcupines have soft hair on their backs but on their backs, sides, and tails, they often have sharp quills. And these quills will lay flat until the porcupine feels threatened, and then they will stand up. Uh, porcupines can shake their quills, which makes a uh, like rattling sound, and that's a warning to predators. But if they can't scare a predator away, they can charge backwards into the predator, so their quills will attach to the predator. Um, it's a myth that porcupines can shoot their quills, um, but that is not true. They just uh, fall out very easily. So if uh, animal is to come in contact with a porcupine, um, the quills are barbed at the end. And so they will often get stuck in the skin of the predator and um, they're difficult to remove. So today we made a potato porcupine, but here we have another animal that also has quills. Uh, this is a hedgehog. And although they have quills and look similar to porcupines, they aren't actually related. Hedgehogs are not found in America, um, and they're found in Europe, Asia, and Africa. And they are kind of stinkers. They are often found in people's gardens, and they like to burrow and kind of dig things up a bit. And they will eat um, frogs, toads, mice, um, all sorts of different bugs. So. They're pretty cool little guys. They have up to 6,000 quills on them. And unlike a porcupine, their quills do not fall out easily. Um, but they're just pretty cute little guys and lots of fun. Thank you so much for joining me today for this Naturally Crafty. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can find more of our fun content.